Breaking news. Reps calls to panel. Fashola Pantami Aregbeshola orders over audit query. They've been spending money and there is no account. I don't know why they are calling them. Or is that not what they all do? Getting to become a minister, house of rep, senator. What do they do? I want to really understand their functions. I don't they have responsibility to the people, the senatorial district that they are that they are representing? Well, I can't remember any since I was born. No, maybe I've missed it. You could please enlighten me, and I'll be very grateful. I will say thank you. I promise. I can't remember. That's what they do. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't understand their responsibility. What they do? What's their their real job? I I don't get it. I'm trying to understand what's their job description. Apart from sitting down there and having analysis on whatever and whatever they are doing, that we don't get to know the results because they don't represent the people. Okay. So what else are they doing? So audit has implicated that um, reps are, panel are asking. I've summoned Fashola. Fashola, the great liar. You remember that guy that saw Camp Koda? That's the Fashola. Pantami, the one linked with terrorists and a, a, I mean, a watch list in the world. Yeah. And Arek Bashola, those are the people. Let's get all the details. The Public Accounts Committee of the House of Representatives on Tuesday gave four ministers and their permanent secretaries as well as their heads of finance and procurement department a seven days automatum to appear before it or have its relevant law invoked against them. The affected ministers are Rafiu Aregbeshola, Minister of Interior, Ali Pantami, Communication and Digital Economy, Professor Sage Health and Charion Environment, Baba Babatunde Fashola, Work and Housing. The chairman of the committee, Oluwale Oke, issued a threat and summon at the as the investigation hearing held on Tuesday over the alleged refusal of the ministers and offices of their ministry to respond to audit query issued by the Office of the Auditor General of the Federation over the years. Oke said that Regbe Shola should appear before to appear along with the, with his permanent secretary of the ministry, the controller general of Nigerian Sec Sec Security Civil Defense Corps, and the head of the Federal Fire Service. The chairman asked the clerk of the committee to immediately dispense the notice of summon to the affected ministers and their official copy to the secretaries to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa. Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abuba Kamalami, and the Chief of Staff to the President, Ibrahim Gambari, respectively. Oke okay, said the lawmakers has been forced to report the affected office to the presidency, being their employer, after several failure to attempt to make them respond to the said audit query. He said today, make it the fifth time the Ministry of Works and Housing will be asked asking for another extension of time on the audit query raised against it over the years. For how long shall we continue like this? Mr. President honored some people with public appointments, but to pay him back, they will not be alive to they will not be alive to their responsibility. This is quite unfortunate. We are only asking them to appear before the committee to clarify issues on financial infrastructure raised by the Office of the Auditor General of the Federation. Nothing more. Meanwhile, the committee has begun an investigation of the $40 million allegedly missing from the looted fund recovered account domiciled in the Central Bank of Nigeria. Can you see thieves? and deputy thieves and chief thieves all wrapped together welcome to nigeria this is how they rule this is how they rule the people you think that you've all there and you've given responsibility most of them are thieves so i'm sorry i'm, I'm it's a very painful thing i'm sad to tell you but this is what is happening most of them are thieves okay most of them if not all of them Okay, Fashola is there telling us that he found a cab coder in a place that, you know, after the NSAS was born and uh, was thoroughly cleaned. And, you know, I mean, Nigeria, if you know what individuals are stealing, 
the fear of God will catch you and you will, you will ask how the nation is even breathing. You know, when a, a patient had an injury and for whatever reason is bleeding, that's what's happening to the country. The country is actually bleeding out. Mm. The country is actually bleeding out, like bleeding out, you know. So when you look at it, you understand that there is really fire on the mountain. You know, when we are young, we have the A, B, B, fire, run, run, run. So, and the response is for, for people to run. However, people are not running. They are staying there and being consumed. That's why there is no educational structure in the country. The roads are dead trap. Uh, there is no, I mean, schools is out of the window. I mean, the economy is dead. There are no jobs. Yet universities, polytechnics, higher institutions keep gulping out, gushing out students every year and there is no way no way to get this student in and that's why you know it's not a yastic to go into crime the rate of crime in the country is unimaginable like unimaginable have you heard of yahoo yahoo oh, 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 oh. it has become so terrible now that human lives go for it is that bad you know they'll tell you they want to pick you know i mean all kinds of names and vices and it has destroyed this nation like no other in no small way you know the nation i mean i don't i, don't, I can't and I I can't even begin to tell you how much, you know, this nation is just bleeding out, you know, bleeding, like literally bleeding out. You know, when somebody, when somebody is injured and the person is bleeding out, that's what is happening in this nation here and now as we speak. And the time to act, the time to do something is now. We cannot keep, you know, we cannot keep being quiet in the face of all that is going on as the nation, you know, is being destroyed by a few individuals, sadly, who are supposed to be leading and giving direction. To a large extent, most of them do not even care what is happening. Their own children are schooling up abroad and getting the best of education and they don't care what happens to the common man on the streets if it's children like they should go to school if they, they don't care and you know these are the people who are called leaders supposed to be representing the interest of those from their sanitary district as a minister ensuring that these things are done decently and in order but when you hear the level of atrocities and they are engulfed in you will be wondering how god even in heaven is looking at them and you know the whole thing and all going on god will help us leave us a comment please don't forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless you have a lovely day from us is bye for now bye